Upgrading an older PC to Windows 8 can be a real hassle and you might not be pleased with the results. Hi, uh, I'm Walt Mossberg from the Wall Street Journal and I found out this out the hard way this week because this week I upgraded two of my personal PCs uh, that ran Windows 7 fine and met all the requirements Microsoft lays out for Windows 8. Uh, and it took me quite a long time, a lot of hassle, and uh, I discovered belatedly that the machines really weren't going to lose some functionality uh, when they got to Windows 8. Uh, the two machines that, uh, two PCs that I upgraded were a ThinkPad X301 laptop dating from 2008 and an HP TouchSmart 300 desktop, uh, which has a touchscreen, uh, dating from 2009. Now, again, as I said, both these machines met the basic requirements Microsoft lays out for Windows 8. But uh, it turns out that both have been essentially abandoned by their manufacturers in this uh, cycle of Windows, and that's something I didn't know. Uh, they require uh, some kinds of uh, software and patches that the manufacturers have decided not to make available or and their hardware um, uh, isn't fully up to snuff for for Windows 8 which again I didn't know I thought as long as they matched uh, Microsoft's requirements they'd be okay so I want to share the lessons of my uh, painful upgrade experience uh, with you um, and there are four points I'd like to make first of all I wouldn't even try to upgrade uh, an existing PC older than about two years. And in some cases, I, I might even consider uh, moving that to one year, one year or a year and a half old. Um, sometimes even if the software is okay, even if there are patches, the hardware on older machines, uh, and I'm not talking about the processor, but things like the touchpad and the screen and other things may not be entirely up to where uh, they need to be for full use of Windows 8. A couple of examples, the touchpad on my ThinkPad laptop can't really perform uh, the, the gestures and the scrolling that uh, uh, Windows 8 requires, and the touch screen on my HP uh, isn't precise enough. Uh, uh, or sophisticated enough compared to modern uh, touchscreens to uh, reliably uh, uh, do the screen gestures of Windows 8. It does work uh, maybe half the time and, and not the other half of the time. Uh, I also lost the use of my microphone on the HP uh, after the upgrade was completed. So um, that's the first tip. Uh, the second tip is before you do anything, go to the manufacturer's websites. You may have to burrow deeply into the support section of the site or somewhere to find out is the PC you're considering upgrading actually uh, supported for that by the manufacturer. It doesn't mean you won't be able to upgrade. After all, I did actually get Windows 8 running on both these machines. You can see one of them over my shoulder, um, but not running perfectly or really uh, optimally. So you want to go to the manufacturer's website and make sure that the manufacturer is supporting it. Um, third, you want to run a Microsoft program which you have to download called Upgrade Assistant. This is not part of the Windows 8 install disks. Uh, it's something that uh, may help you uh, also figure out if the computer is a good candidate for Windows 8. And fourth, set aside plenty of time and be ready for hassles. And if you're not very technical, you may want to have a technical-oriented friend or somebody with you because uh, while the Windows 8 installer itself uh, isn't uh, all that hard to use, uh, in some cases you may have to uh, make various adjustments to the underlying uh, software of the computer, even if it is supported by the manufacturer and that can be uh, 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 technical and a kind of a hassle. So this is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.